Bob Huber, Vintage Lambo, and we're talking differentials today. We're going to be installing this. We're going to check the alignment on it, and uh, maybe we need to make some uh, corrections on that. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. So let's go back in time just a little bit. Lamborghini was established in 1963 as far as producing cars. Their first car was late 64, and this is out of a 1965 350 GT. Now, this is uh, the 50th car that was built out of 120. At the time, they had blueprints going and establishing to make differentials, but at the time that the first car came out, uh, they had an engine, but they didn't have differential transmission. So what we need to do is first figure out how we can align this in there. Okay, I'm going to bore you with um, a little uh, manual <clears throat> pumping of this thing to get up. Now, you can see this barely fits in. You need to shift it to the side. And it amazes me how they're able to calculate that it barely fits in because exactly barely fits in so I want to get this up so I can clear the frame for this area and the area on the other side okay I got something that's touching ah right here so I need to go down a little bit and I need to deal with that Okay, so I might have to take this piece off, but maybe, maybe I can, maybe I, I can move this. Let me look over here. See what's hitting. Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, the upper bracket. Okay, so I gotta go down a hair if I can. Okay, now let's see if I can get the upper bracket not to hit. Let me see how I can. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna have to take this guy off. And see if I can get it up a little. Go a little forward with it. So I need to drop this if I can. And Just to let you know, everything takes some effort. Okay, I see I have a problem with a bracket back here. Uh, and that's a, a bracket on this. Oh boy, if I have to tap this in, it's going to be difficult to get out uh, don't mind me I'm just talking okay so I see if I can okay let's see Again, we're just slipping these things in. Uh, hopefully. Okay, that's too far down. Like I say, I'm just putting it in just to get this thing stabilized a little bit and just get a bearing of where I'm at. I mean, there's a bunch of washers and all sorts of stuff. And, and in fact, 
uh, these brackets are not, you know, specked out perfect, done on a machine. Th these are humans built these things up from pieces of metal. So there's going to have to be adjustment going on here to really, you know, get it really good. So, I mean, that's just, that's just the way it's going to have to be, which is okay. And it looks like, you know, we have a little bit of room that I could, if I have to machine some, something up here to make this work, I can do it. But right now I'm going to have to get something to, to wiggle that bushing over a little bit. Okay. All right. I'll get back at it. This is too boring. All right, so we have it set in. No shims in this thing at all. It's just sitting where it likes to sit. Let's just put it that way. It likes to be here. So um, I need to really shift this thing. And what I can do, because let's take a look at this. You, you, see, you see how far that nose is off? Um, I've got a... A laser pointer here I don't know if you can see this or not but when I put the laser pointer on I don't know if you can really see that but she's off to that side so I need to bring this thing over and as I see it right now there let's see get this thing to stop I want the batteries to last so what I see right now is that this nose naturally, it, it needs to come over to where this green line is. Um, there's four bolts here, four bolts there. There is room in here for shimming with, you know, the, the, the typical washers, but I think it's going to need to be totally loaded on this side, pushing this over this over here which is closer to you, this side is going to go over that way. And then that top bushing I was telling you about, the one in the back on the top, that one also, I can, I can put shims on that and then to push that over. So I think I can do some work getting this over and that's going to be uh, on another video. But as it is right now, obviously it's not good. So what I'm going to try and do first is I want to get this so it's going straight down the alley. And then when I get that done, then I'm going to work on getting the angle of this. And right now I'm looking at this and the angle on this is uh, low. So I'll probably load some shims up to do that right now just to facilitate uh checking it out i kind of know it's got to go up uh this has to go up anyway uh th thanks for sticking around if you have uh you know it's it's a uh, it's one thing to you know try and ponder to get this thing to be right and i'll be doing that and then i'll try and then get back to you tomorrow on the results as i bang my head on the lift Please like and subscribe. I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks so much.